Hey guys, what's going on? This is Deadly. Welcome back to the channel for some more Escape from Tarkov, and today we're going to be taking a look at a few Ragman tasks. The first ones that you can accept and complete out of the 17 in the series. The tasks we're going to be covering in today's video is only business, make ultra great again, big sale, the blood of war, dress to kill, database part 1, database part 2, and gratitude. The first task in the series is called Only Business, and it's as simple as it sounds. You need to be level 15 to get the level 2 loyalty requirement for Ragman and buy and sell up to 1 million rubles. Now, if you're level 15 but you currently haven't spent the money requirement, a quick trick that you can try is just buying a lot of items in bulk and selling them back. Once you've completed that task, you'll be able to accept Make Ultra Great Again, which is killing 30 scavengers on interchange. Now there's a few areas that I find I can almost always find scavengers while playing on interchange. The first place is in the Ollie store, especially around the entrance with the escalators. There's always two or three scavengers to me that are either lurking there or around the store itself. Next you want to head over to Goshen, the Goshen supermarket, and right at the center of the cash registers where all the military tents are, there's usually a few scavs roaming around there and a couple of the coffee shops as well as the IKEA store near the IKEA offices. There's always around two scavengers that are lurking in that area as well. Now there's usually one or two scavs that are patrolling around the basement in the parking garage, so it's just completely random. Sometimes they're there, sometimes there's not. Uh, also outside at the power station, there's sometimes one or two scavengers that are sitting there, as well as the checkpoint near the northwest exfil, uh, which is, we're going to be talking about that later, there's sometimes a scav or two there. So, honestly, my suggestion to you is whenever you hear gunshots, go after it, you might find some players, you might find some scavengers, or just keep it simple and hit the power station, the ollie, the goshen, and the idea every single raid and rinse and repeat. Once you've killed the 30 scavengers, turn it in to accept a big sale. In this task, you have to go and find certain outlet stores to see if they still have some clothing. You need to check Avocado, Costin, T-Rend, Dino Clothes, and Top Brand. So all of these stores are on the first floor of the shopping mall, and I'm going to include a map in the description box below that shows you the names of every single store on the first level for those that are struggling. And I'm also including a video resource with the most efficient way that I can actually show you guys the stores, but I recommend just taking a look at the map if you get lost. So first, you're going to want to stand directly in front of the idea store and then go right. When you exit the idea and enter the shopping mall area, you'll see T-Rend right on your right hand side in the purple letters. Make sure you go into the store in order to complete the subtasks. Then while you're leaving T-Rend, go left. And another left. And you'll see Dino Clothes in your right hand side with the green letters. Continue your way straight down the hallway. And on your right hand side, you'll see top brand. Once you're in the top brand, take your immediate left next to the sports store and keep on running straight down. Keep following the corridor because you have to go to the other side of the shopping mall. You'll see avocado on your right hand side. After avocado, you want to hang a left. Keep on moving past the military trucks. You should see Costin on your left hand side. Boom! And that's all the stores you need for the task. Well, it's that time again. You can't really have trader tasks unless you have some marker placements. So we're going to be looking for three different trucks, three different oil tankers with the German flag marked on the truck cab. There's lots of trucks with the German flag scattered throughout interchange, but you need to look for the ones with the oil tankers. So buy three markers from Prapor, head on interchange, and the first truck we're going to be showing you guys is going to be in between the power station and the southeast exfil. It's kind of blocking the road. You really can't miss it. The giant orange tanker. Plant your marker and then head down towards the power station. Your next truck is going to be in the parking lot of the power station. Plant the marker and continue moving down the highway on your right hand side towards the northwest exfil extraction. Once you're all the way on the other side of the idea, you want to go towards the military checkpoint on the highway that I guess technically would be towards the northeastern side of the map. Plant your markers and survive and exit the raid. 
The next task is to do database part one, where you need to collect three manifests from the offices in the Ali, Goshen, and Idea stores. First, nearly die by running into a squad on the Ollie, and you want to head to one of the information booths, the one that's closest to the back of the store, and inside the information booth there's going to be a little manifest laying on the table. You want to grab that. It's not actually in the main Ollie offices, so don't be confused with that. Next, you want to head towards the Goshen offices, which is just in that hallway on the left-hand side of the cash registers, and maneuver your way to the biggest office room, the one with the most computers. Just keep on checking each room. When you get to the computer room with the garbage bags on the left-hand side of the door, as soon as you walk in, the laying on the desks on the left-hand side is going to be the manifest. And finally, head over to the IKEA offices. If you're facing the front of the IKEA store, it's going to be on the left-hand side. Once you're in the office, it's going to be in the center cubicle nearest to the wall that doesn't have the computers on it. Survive and exit the raid to complete the task. Database Part 2 requires you to get into the Ollie Logistics Office and recover the cargo route documents. Now this office is actually locked and requires you to get the key, and the key spawns on Customs. Spawn on Boiler Side Customs and immediately start making your way towards where you have to unlock the passageway using the factory key. Once you get to the checkpoint, there's going to be a blue car, and in the back of that blue car open the trunk and that's where the Ollie Logistic Key spawns. This is probably going to take you a few tries. It took me about seven or eight tries to actually get the key to spawn. And you're going to be competing with a lot of other hatchlings and players. I was really struggling. People were beating me to the car. So good luck. It's really just a spawn lottery versus the other hatchlings. Make your way through the Ollie offices and you'll find a locked door. This is kind of where you pick up the Ollie cash register key. It's very close to it. It's the room right next to that office. Go inside and pick up the cargo route document laying in the cabinet and then extract the raid to complete the task. The next mission is called Dress to Kill where you need to find 7 Yashankas and 7 Cowboy Hats. Now if you're somehow already Ragman level 4, this task is actually rather easy to complete. You just need to turn in 7 level 22 plus dog tags in exchange for cowboy hats. Or if you know somebody like a friend who already has Ragman 4, then you can make that happen. But if not, don't worry, getting cowboy hats on interchange is actually rather simple. Now you can find Yushankas and Cowboy Hats very frequently on mannequins in the interchange. And there's a few stores that you want to go to, just at all the clothing stores around Top Brand and also Revise. Those have lots of mannequins that frequently spawn Yushankas and Cowboy Hats. And I found all of them, and all my Yushankas and all my Cowboy Hats from this little square in the interchange after just a few raids. If you have access to the Epsilon container, I recommend that you use it. It's the reward for Punisher Part 6 because you can carry two hats in your secured container and the Gamma can only hold one. And I think it goes without saying that, yeah, you can get Yashankas very easily from killing scavengers and you can find cowboy hats rarely from scavs, but this is by far the most consistent and easiest way to grab both Yushankas and cowboy hats. Just be efficient, do some very fast runs, hitting up those stores, leave, repeat, and in about seven or eight raids, you'll probably have most of what you need. And the last task we're going to be talking about in this video is called Gratitude. This is where you need to collect a Shemog, if I'm saying that correctly, a ghost mask, ray benches, and round sunglasses. And the dude is like totally into cosplay for some reason. He wants to be like Austin Powers and like Neo from the Matrix if you read the quest text. Super weird, but this quest is just going to take a little bit of scav RNG. Now let's talk about the Shemog. Again, I'm probably butchering that. You should by now have Ragman level 3 and you can buy this directly from him. Also, it's extremely common on killing PMCs. Lots of players like to wear it, so you'll probably be able to find one that way too. Now, the Skull Mask is purchasable at Ragman level 4, but you probably don't have that yet. If you have a friend who does, you can just get him to acquire it and then trade it with you. Um, but you can also find it rarely on scavengers. Uh, I don't normally find them all that often, but what you can try to do is scav into raids. Don't kill any of the AI and just check all the spawns to see if any of them are wearing it. I frequently see them on woods and shoreline. 
Now for the ray benches and the round glasses, that's just going to be killing scavengers. I would classify them as being uncommon. They're not rare, but they're not on every scavenger either. Maybe one or two will have one each raid. So just keep killing scavengers until you find both of the glasses and that's all you can really do to get them. Once you've collected all the items, now you gotta head to woods. It is possible to do this on a night raid. I almost recommend it because the location that you need to go to is so dangerous and so exposed that you're probably gonna get shot in the back whenever you're gonna be planting it. It's worse than the SV-98s for Peacekeeper because the little dock that is on woods and it's got some barrels in between the two barrels is where you want to plant the items and you have four items to plant and they're going to be 20 seconds each so hiding at nighttime getting to the barrels is what i recommend but as long as the items are in your secured container you don't really have too much to worry about if you die in the process once you've planted all the items you don't have to survive and leave the raid so you've completed the task and that is all of the tasks we're going to be covering in today's video. So hope you guys found this useful. If you did, share this around to your friends that might be new to the game who are looking for some help on the Ragman tasks. Stick around, guys. The next couple tasks are extremely grindy and are going to take a little bit of time. So just be patient. I'm working on it. It really comes down to RNG for a few of them and getting very specific rare items. So I'm getting through it, but I do appreciate your guys' patience and support on the channel. Subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov guides and gameplay and also check out the daily live streams every single morning starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.